Hey guys, the next how-to video here is going to be about chain tension. I've got the cover off of the chain case here just to give you a better idea. Uh, but once you get the hang of it, you really don't need to remove the cover to do a chain case uh, tension adjustment. Um, here you've got your, your bolt here. So in order to adjust chain tension, you need to loosen the jam nut here, you know, which allows you to adjust this tensioner. Now if you look here, if I try and push against this chain, it's really tight. Uh, this setup here would be way too tight of a, of a chain tension. Um, so I would loosen this a couple turns. That may be a little loose. It's kind of subjective. People have different opinions on this. Um, but the idea is you don't want so much tension on it that it's it's wearing out the uh, the components here. Um, I would say this would probably be on your, your high end of, of chain tension. And an easy way of doing that, uh, the, 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 uh, the cog and everything is not set up right on this one, but if you were to grab your either your secondary clutch or your brake caliper and you go to rotate this, before anything moves there should be just maybe about an inch, half inch of play, but again this, this, uh, this slide isn't set up right, but if you have any, need any further explanation about that, um, just give us a shout and I can help you out with that. Once the uh, chain is tight how you believe you should be, Make sure you go ahead and tighten that jam nut down and, uh, and tighten it up with a wrench because uh, if you, <clears throat> this is loose and you're out on the trail and you hear a ratcheting noise, uh, it could be one of two things, this chain skipping gears uh, or it could be your, your track skipping uh, teeth on your drive cog, but definitely check, uh, check your, track or your chain tension right there.